Yeah, I just wanted to make a short video on Groovy Arcade. So I finally was able to get Groovy Arcade running on this old computer that I got over here. That was given to me. And I put in this old ATI video card that I had lying around from like 15 years ago. And it actually works really well. So I wanted to hook it up to my Blast City over here. But the monitor is, you know, an arcade monitor, which has 15 kilohertz, you know, resol um, the screen resolution was the type of 15 kilohertz, which isn't like a regular monitor. So you can't just re plug a regular video card outputting a regular resolution and it just won't work. It looks really funky. So what I needed was, first of all, I needed this guy over here in here, which was a JPEG connector that connects the JAMA, which outputs into a video connector and the buttons. Over into this video card over here, it was plugged in. And then I installed the Groovy Arcade, which is the Linux front end for how do you run the arcade. And it actually took a lot of finagling. And also, it also didn't come with all the BIOS files, which I had to find elsewhere and then figure out how to hook it into it. But here you go, here's the, here's the end result I got over here. So I, I put in just the games that I wanted. And uh, I also had to find all the pictures myself put in here, but ended up looking pretty good. So it's pretty awesome. And all these games will work because I tested them. Let's go and double, double drag them real fast. Check it out. So the JPEG is nice. It hooks up all the buttons for the controls for the Blast City. Even it hooks up to like the coins over here. awesome on this monitor, I have to say. Yeah, let's go. Alright, take that out of this sort of demo. So also, what's good about the computer is that you can plug in more joysticks into it. It's right here, you see I got my Hey Abusive joystick in here, and I can put in player 3, and I can add another one too. I have 4 players. If I go down, I'm not sure if I can figure the buttons yet, but I can do that from my keyboard. Like for Ninja Turtles, I can add it for more players to this. Oh, actually, what I did was I did it for Simpsons. Simpsons didn't have an art for some reason. Let's fix that later. I also hooked up a couple of more buttons down here, like player two. Over. Now I can add for player three over here. So now we got three players going. Pretty awesome. I just gotta hook up another joystick and then configure the buttons a little more and I'll be able to play four players over here. Yeah. Showcase what I did over here. Took a little bit of figuring it out. So if you're thinking about doing something like this, you have an arcade and you want to somehow hook it up. You want to somehow hook it up like I do. Like it took a lot of internet detective to figure out how to all hook everything together and getting the ROMs that work. Because regular ROMs won't work, you need the right versions for the version of main. So if you don't have the right version of the ROMs, you, can just, you can't just throw anything in here, it won't work. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Got it all working. See you in the next video. Like and subscribe.